Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Sai, and on my channel, I talk about investing for beginners like myself, as well as a little bit of tech and business ideas as well. So in today's video, I've decided to talk about two of my favorite companies and stocks. And of course, those would be two of the hottest companies within the tech industry. That's Amazon and Apple. Now, I wanted to analyze the two companies and help you understand which stock is a better buy. Now, as always, I have no financial background whatsoever. And so before you invest in anything, I always recommend seeking professional financial advice. But hopefully the info that I'll be giving you in this video will help you along your own research. So while the intro video plays, it's only a few seconds, so maybe you could hit that thumbs up button and make it turn blue so you can help the YouTube algorithm recommend this video to lots more people. So if you're interested in investing and for sure if you're interested in tech companies and most likely if you're just interested in long-term investments, you're most likely already have a little bit of your investments already in Amazon and Apple. Now obviously it goes without saying that both Amazon and Apple are two of Wall Street's heavyweights. But during these uncertain times and with everyone trying to be a little more careful with their spending, also with my investing with £100 a month series where you can see this month's video up here, it is useful to know more about these two great companies and to give you a better analysis as to which one you should be investing in if you don't have enough money to invest in both. Now, straight off the back, I wanna make it clear that I personally feel that both companies are great investments and there are a lot of things to like about both of them. For instance, Apple is and has been a cash generating machine, reporting $105 billion in gross profit over the last 12 months. And as Apple is sitting on so much cash, they are also currently in the midst of another stock buyback plan in order to show its financial situation and lure more investors into the company. Whereas Amazon is arguably the most diversified company in America. From the days of selling books to completely revolutionizing the way in which we shop online to launching a video streaming service to rival Netflix and creating a profitable cloud computing wing. Now this is just to name a few of the pies that Amazon has its finger in. But then also when you dive in deeper, there are also things that make you question about the future of both of the companies. So with Apple, ever since the late Steve Jobs, they haven't really innovated much under Tim Cook, apart from churning out an endless line of iPhones. And it's clear to see that even the iPhone sales are starting to diminish. That's not to say that Tim Cook hasn't tried to be innovative. I mean, we had the Apple Watch, which has done well to be the best smartwatch in the market, but it hasn't had the same success as the likes of the Apple computers and the iPhone. And every year we see some kind of addition to try and make the product more favorable, such as this year with the Apple Fitness Plus. Then there is Apple TV Plus, which is yet another great attempt for Apple to get its foot in the streaming market. But ever since its launch last November, it appears that they are already lagging behind Disney's streaming service, which was only launched earlier this year. And also Disney's streaming service is more expensive than the Apple one. Now this all shows that Apple is finding it quite difficult to attain the same levels of diversification as Amazon with some of the new products that they are trying to break into. However, Amazon has its own issues, more towards the actual stock value itself, where it seems as though Amazon has a very high valuation as they currently have a P2E ratio of 139.14, which is almost four times Apple's value. So with that in mind, it makes sense to take a look at the numbers in a bit more detail. So for instance, we can see that Amazon has a P2E ratio of 139.14, where Apple has a P2E ratio of, of 
Now, if we look at the latest earnings per share change from the most recent quarter versus the most recent quarter a year ago, we can also see that Amazon, if we come down to here, go to all ratios, uh, scroll up at the top to growth, we can see earnings per share from uh, the last, the most recent quarter to the uh, most recent quarter from last year. Amazon has showed a 192.04% increase, whereas Apple, Well, Apple has shown a 2.98% decrease. And on top of that, when we look at the revenue change from the most recent quarter compared to the most recent quarter a year ago, we can see that Amazon had a 37.39% increase, whereas Apple Well, Apple only had a 1.03% increase. Now then also, if we take a look at the cash per share in the most recent quarter, Amazon is at $136.26, whereas Apple, whereas Apple on the other hand, are on $5.36. So on the current valuation, Apple obviously seems stronger, but Amazon is beating Apple in various other areas. And when looking at growth, Amazon is accelerating by almost tripling what they were making a year ago. And Amazon has much more cash on a per share basis, despite having a lot less cash than Apple. So then the question arises of which company is going to be hit the most from this pandemic and the recession moving forwards. And it's pretty straightforward that Apple will have the most problems due to the fact that they're already having supply chain problems with China on their latest phones. And of course, the retail sales at Apple will also be taking a hit still. Hence why the low growth numbers in the most recent quarter. Now, on the other hand, Amazon is one of the few companies that are actually benefiting from this virus. And it's inevitable that when the world is forced to do their shopping online and you happen to have the largest e-commerce company in the world, Amazon were obviously able to thrive. Now they were thriving so much that they even had to hire an additional 100,000 full and part-time employees in order to keep up with the additional demand. And the stock price has been pretty much immune to the virus as it managed to touch a high of $3,500 per share in September before it pulled back to where it's sitting at now which is just over $3,100, which means that in the last year, Amazon has increased its value by 80%. But then again, Apple also managed to increase its value by 81% in the last year, meaning that both companies have performed extremely well. However, with the fact that Amazon does not seem to be affected by the pandemic right now, they seem as though the best choice in the battle of deciding between Apple and Amazon. But like I said at the beginning, I still think that both companies are a great stock to buy and hold for the long run, which I have already done with my portfolio. And I intend to buy more of both of the companies. But with the nature of the current economic situation with the pandemic, it does seem as though in the short term, Amazon will do better than Apple. But in the long run, I have no doubt that both companies will do extremely well. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'd love to know what your thoughts are on both of the companies. So let me know in the comments down below. And as I mentioned at the beginning, I have no financial background whatsoever. So before you invest in anything, make sure that you seek some professional financial advice. And finally, if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button as well. So you get notified when my next video comes out. And as always, make sure that you like the video, comment down below and share with your friends and family. See you on the next video.